I unboxed the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II around a month ago and fell instantly in love with it. Since then, I have been using it as my personal daily driver. Before this video, I posted 10 reasons why you should not purchase the phone. This video is about 10 reasons why you should. This is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's go. 10 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yes, this wonderful flagship Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes paired with a 3.5 millimeter jack. Its predecessor, the Xperia 1 Mark I, didn't come paired with a jack in the phone, so you had to scrap out for the USB Type-C to headphone jack adapter. This time around, there is no need for that, and it gives you absolutely stunning audio sound. I know this is not a big deal for many people out there. That is why it is 10th place over here but many users out there still regard the headphone jack as a make it or break it deal when purchasing a new smartphone. Number nine, micro SDXC card slot. Yes, the Sony Xperia 1 before it and the One Mark II, which is indeed this one, comes paired with a dual SIM slot and you can use the SIM 2 slot to double up as a micro SD expansion for storage. This is something that is lacking in many flagship smartphones these days, so it is nice to see in a phone which was built around the camera. So you're probably gonna be taking quite a lot of snaps and recording a lot of videos, so you're indeed going to need that extra storage. But fear not, if you don't like SD cards, you get a base storage with 256 gigs of UFS 3.0. Number eight, flagship features. I've popped two things in here, which I think are fairly even at the number eight position over here. Number one is an IP water and dust 68 resistance, which is resistant to water 1.5 meters deep for 30 minutes. This was present on the previous iteration of the phone, but it is nice to see in a flagship phone nonetheless. Next is wireless charging. Yes, it is not the fastest wireless charging around, but never Nevertheless, we do have wireless charging in the Xperia 1 Mark II. This was something that was lacking in its predecessor. Number seven, stereo speakers. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes paired with two front-facing stereo speakers. It is paired with Dolby Atmos and dynamic vibration for sound depth. Let's have a listen. It has a gunner seat? I have also recently made a speaker blind test between six smartphones, so five against the Xperia 1 Mark II. Go ahead and listen to that for a bit of fun after this video. Number six, HS power control. HS stands for heat suppression, and this works fantastically well. What it pretty much does is you get to plug your phone into a power socket using the type C port on the right side of the device when in landscape mode. It does not charge the device at all. It actually keeps temps down, and it also takes all of the raw power of the phone straight to the CPU and GPU chip for a more smooth gaming experience. Now, of course, plug in that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your HS power control using the Type-C cord, you have yourself a gaming monster. Number five, software. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is practically Android stock software, obviously run on Android 10, which should get a planned update to Android 11. Like I said, it is very stock, so very similar to what you would see in such as a Google Pixel run on Android 10, and you get a few extra little nifty features too, such as side sense, where you get to quickly snap to a app that you have, and you can also do split screen, which is really awesome. I've never really used split screen in previous smartphones that I've used on my channel, but it works really well with this incredible 21 by nine aspect ratio. Great on you, Sony. We also have a couple extra features such as dark mode, which is something that you usually see on an OLED panel. It looks quite good over here, but it is a bit gray instead of black. Nevertheless, it is an awesome feature to have within the software. And of course we have a screen off clock over here, always on display, which is always nifty. And we do indeed have an LED notification light, something that really lacks in smartphones in 2020. Like I said, very stock Android over here. And number four is cameras. It is quite high up the list for a reason. We have four Zeiss T cameras at the back of the phone filled with incredible specifications over here. But the more important thing is not so much the regular camera app that you get within the phone. Yes, it can take some snazzy pictures up to 
10 times zoom and you get some decent depth effect. But switch over to the Pro application, you get that two-phase shutter button at the top of the phone. You can use the volume rockers to zoom in and out. And we also have a 20 FPS shutter speed. That paired with a ton of different features using the Camera Pro app makes for some stunning pictures, but it is not so much to pull out your phone and take a quick snap. You really do have to fiddle with the actual settings of the app itself. I'm not the best at it, but put this in the hands of a professional photographer, and I'm pretty sure he'd take a better photo than on any other phone around. We also have eye autofocus, which is a great little feature, and we have a 4K 30 frames per second using the regular video app found within the regular camera app, though we have 4K 60 using the Cinema Pro app, which we'll get to in a second. We have some decent stabilization when it is enabled over here at 1080p 60 frames per second. Most phones are dropped to 30 FPS. Here is the Video Pro app, the Cinema Pro app that is, and there is a ton of features to boot once more. You can only record in that crazy 21 by nine cinema wide aspect ratio. So bear that in mind if you decide to purchase the device and you can indeed shoot 4K at 60 frames per second with different kinds of depth effects, which look absolutely epic. Number three, the Xperia 1 Mark II is indeed built for speed. This is not just their slogan. As some of you may already know, I have a load of speed tests found within my channel on all different kinds of smartphones. Most recently, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II has gone up against seven different smartphones and it has left every single one of them in the dust, including the OnePlus 8 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. It beat the iPhone 11 Pro Max that will change with the iPhone 12, I'm sure. The Oppo Find X2 Pro was smashed. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro with crazy power was dominated and against the beastly Red Magic 5G at one there and of course the Black Shark 3 Pro gaming phone as well. Number two, battery life on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is absolutely fantastic. I got a pretty great SOT time, which is screen on time, and with a tiny 4,000 milliamp hour battery to boot, it is quite impressive. It did not win this test against the Samsung iPhone 1 Plus and Oppo, but it got pretty close with almost seven hours of SOT, which is seriously impressive for a tiny 4,000 milliamp hour battery and 6.5 five inch 4K LED display. Compared to the rest of the devices, like I said, it did not do the best, but it actually had almost the best milliamp hours per minute, which is absolutely fantastic for a Sony Xperia phone, which is known for terrible battery life, such as its predecessor, the Mark 1, which only came paired with a 3,330 milliamp hour battery. And if Sony were to increase their milliamp hour battery capacity over here, and the rest of the phones had the same at 4,500 milliamp hours, the Sony would actually place second just behind that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, beating the other three Android phones in this test. Number one, finally, the main reason to purchase this phone, it's wonderful 4K LED display. It has a 21 by nine aspect ratio. Of course, it is 6.5 inches. It has 1 billion colors, which is rare to see in a smartphone these days with HDR BT 2020. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It is not the brightest phone around, but you are not going to find another phone out there other than its predecessor with a 4K display. It looks absolutely superb, like I mentioned. And unfortunately, we do not have a high refresh rate panel here. We're stuck to 60, as I mentioned in the previous video. But we do have something called blur reduction, which works incredibly well, it minimizes ghosting and gives it a little bit of a faster feel to the phone, something between I would say 60 and 90 hertz smartphones. We also have standard mode and creator mode when it comes to color accuracy over here and creator mode might be a little bit dimmer, but the detail of it is absolutely astonishing compared to the other devices. I absolutely love the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II for many things, these 10 things included. Of course, there are a few things that I dislike about it, but honestly, the main selling point for me is that wonderful 4K LED display. And that is literally the main reason I would choose it over any other flagship smartphone in 2020. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.